Android app development. We are using numerous apps in our day-to-day -day life. Those apps were made by Android developers using certain tools. The Android developer tools lets you create interactive and powerful application for Android platform. There are many Android development tools to choose from. That's because the Android market is huge. Knowing how to choose the right tools for Android development can be tricky. So we decided to list out some of the more important ones. Let's have a look. So these are all the important Android development tools. Those are on Android Studio, Intel Edge, React Native, Flutter, Kotlin, Firebase, Android Virtual Device, GitHub, and all. You can't talk about modern day Android development tools without talking about Android Studio. It's been official ID for Android since 2014. For anyone building a native Android app, working in Android Studio is a must. It has an in-depth knowledge specific to Android, which allows developers to make the best possible Android apps. And it's completely free to use. It's an all-in-one tool for the development, testing, and packaging of Android apps. These are some free features of Android Studio. Earlier, the work was done on Eclipse. So Android Studio is a blessing in Android development field. And another idea to consider would be IntelliJ. While Android Studio is undoubted, undoubtedly the best ID for Android, IntelliJ isn't far behind. After all, Android Studio is based on IntelliJ only. IntelliJ idea tries to automate everything. And especially good characteristic of IntelliJ is its context-aware code completion and analysis. In order to fully experience this IDE, you're going to have to go with the paid version, the IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate. These are some features of IntelliJ. One of the leading cross-platform mobile development framework is React Native. React Native is an open source UI software framework created by Meta. The main advantage of React Native is that it allows you to construct cross-platform solutions using a JavaScript language as well as native platform-specific languages like Java, C, and Swift. It is also free to use. These are all its features. Similarly, Flutter is also a free and open source mobile UI framework created by Google and released in May 2017. Flutter consists of two important parts, an SDK and a framework. To develop with Flutter, you will use a programming language called Dart. Dart focuses on front-end development and you can use it to create mobile and web applications. Flutter is also available in different IDEs. These are all some features of Flutter and it is free of cost. Kotlin is cross-platform programming language that may be used as an alternative to Java for Android app development. JetBrains, JetBrains created Kotlin and it's now sponsored by Google. It's now recognized as one of the official native app development language. Kotlin is much simpler for beginners to try as compared to Java. These are all the features of Kotlin. Firebase is a platform developed by Google for creating mobile and web applications. Firebase is a Google-backed application development software that enables developers to develop iOS, Android, and web apps. Firebase provides tools for tracking and tracking analytics, reporting, and fixing app crashes, creating marketing and product experiments. Uh, these are all some features of Firebase. The next one is Android Visual Device. The Android emulator is an Android virtual device which represents a specific Android device. We can use the Android emulator as a target device to execute and test our Android application on our PC. The Android emulator provides almost all the functionality of a real device. It accesses the Google Play Store and much more. Testing Android applications on emulator are sometimes faster and easier than doing on a real device. For example, we can transfer data faster to the emulator than to a real, real device connected through USB. These are all some features of Android virtual device. And the last 
one is git and github almost every programmer uses git and github even those that haven't written a single line of code have heard about git and github git is a free and open source distributed version control system that lets you manage and track changes in files used in programming github is one of many cloud based hosting service that allows you to manage your git repository github enables collaborative project development as multiple programmers can work on project code together developers can track and control changes made by others and if necessary return to say a state of code before any given change was made making it an extremely helpful tool android studio has a user interface that makes it incredibly easy to work with git without any additional software in this okay so these are all the tools required for android app development thank you